What's up, guys? Dumbest Fun Productions. I'm going to be showing you guys the uh, new whip I picked up. 2004 Mustang Mach 1, 40th anniversary. Show you guys the interior first. Key fog right here. Only came in one key, so probably should address that. Interior's in really good condition. It's the uh, black leather comfort weave interior. Has 54,000 miles on it, so I was very excited about that. My Trans Am that I previously had had almost double that. No cracks in here, no tears, no stains. Just surprising because it's typical. Not as bad as my Trans Am, but plastic. Everything's plastic. But, I mean, that's not why you buy these cars, so I don't really care. Back seats are in really good condition, just like my Trans Am. Because no one uses them because they're uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, no complaints here. The only complaint I have is the uh, the pedals are metal and they get real slippery in the rain, which I found out today. Which can it's kind of sketchy, but other than that, nothing to uh, really complain about. The exterior it's in good condition. It has some scratches right here. I'm gonna have my cousin buff it out. He already did some polishing and buffing, and the car looks pretty good. The only problem with the exterior is right here. Previous owner said his sister backed up into it. I don't know if you guys can really see, but there's a scratch going all along here. Probably can get that buffed up. Then there's some some dent. Bumper's a little torn. May have to replace the whole bumper cover. Uh, but I'll bring that to a body shop. Give me a quote, I'll probably fix it. Other than that, the car's in really good condition in the exterior. Just picked up new tires, Nitto 555s. They're, uh, they're really good tires. Uh, 245, 45, 17s all around, stock size. Has red calipers, I don't know if that was part of the 40th anniversary, but came with it, so no complaints. Uh, I took the... Uh, original Mach 1 decal off because it was peeling and it looks really clean right now I gotta decide if I want to get new Mach 1 sticker I probably will it's only 40 bucks has the original front fascia Mach 1 grill delete it's got the color matched headlights and the Mach 1 chin spoiler shaker hood scoop pretty sweet Let's see if I can open this up Alright, so, the car doesn't have anything major done to it, but it's got a K&N in intake. It's got, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's been a nightmare to install these, but it has long tubes. SLP long tubes. Um, also has... There's the long tubes. It's the CATS X SLP CATED X-Pipe to a uh, SLP... Loudmouth 2 exhaust, but previous owner took the mufflers out, welded straight pipes in, so yeah, it's loud. I got a uh, exhaust video up on my channel already. If you guys want to go check that out, I'll probably leave the link in the description. Um, yeah, I mean, it sounds good, but I don't know. I may get some mufflers for it. It's, it's obnoxiously loud, to be honest. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this car. It's a, uh, it's a really nice car. I'm loving it so far. It's a five-speed, my first five-speed. Learned how to drive manual. Been driving it for a couple days now, and got the basics down, but got to get good at it. Definitely be uploading some more videos soon. This is kind of a baseline. Um, I'll probably upload a video in a couple months, show the progress I made in the car as far as fixing it and modifying it goes. And, uh, yeah, subscribe and comment with any questions. Thanks.